Hi, I'm Jessica Carter, and um, I'm going to share with you today about my experience with meeting Dr. Keneally and coming to the Center for New Medicine. Um, I actually lost my mother to breast cancer when I was just 21 years old, and um, my grandmother also was diagnosed with breast cancer at 49 and had a double mastectomy, and she actually survived that. Um, but after my mother died, I was always afraid, afraid of dying of the same thing, essentially. And um, I sort of suppressed it for a long time. And then when I got a little bit older, uh, about 30 years old, I started to kind of worry about it a little bit and thought, well, maybe I should start to get mammograms. So I actually was living in New York City at the time and I discovered um, a great cancer clinic that sort of took me in their arms and they were like, we're gonna put you on a plan and let's start to get yearly mammograms for you starting at 30 years old, which now I know is crazy. Um, and um, one year they found a lump when I was about 32 and I had to go get a sonogram done and then they actually saw the lump and um, then I had to later have it biopsied which was for me one of the most frightening experiences of my life because of my personal history, history with breast cancer. Um, I actually took care of my mother while she was dying and saw the whole thing and was really heavily involved in, in, in the whole thing. So I have a lot of vivid memories of that. Um, so having a biopsy done for me was just like horrible. Um, so that was that. And then they sort of led me through the whole, well, you should now get genetic testing done and find out if you um, you know, have the BRAC1 and 2 gene. And then you might really want to consider having your breasts removed. And it started down this whole chain of events. And thankfully, at the time, I didn't have the money to get the test done, so I didn't. And I stepped away from it and just got totally frightened by it and kind of avoided it again for a while. Um, about four years ago, I moved back to Southern California and um, started to sort of get back into health and wellness and nutrition, um, and also started to sort of investigate my mother's journey. And I think it was two years ago, I heard Dr. Keneally on a telesummit called Healing Cancer. and. I listened to the whole summit, I bought the summit, it absolutely changed my life and I loved Dr. Keneally and I was so excited because I was living in Los Angeles and she was in Irvine like an hour away from me. So I made an appointment with her right away, I found out that my insurance was covered, I mean that it was like so much, it was easier for me to see Dr. Keneally and less expensive than for me to go to a naturopath and an acupuncturist and all of these other things that I was doing. So once I met Dr. Keneally, I talk about a life changer. She really put me into action in my life in such a way that now I feel empowered, I feel free, I'm not scared anymore. I mean, there was one point in my life where I didn't even want to have children because I was terrified that I was going to have a girl and that she would then have breast cancer or that I was going to die and leave my child. None of that. I have none of those fears anymore because of my relationship with Dr. Keneally and the Center for New Medicine. So if you haven't already, I suggest quickly running down here. <laughs> and thank you for listening to my story and I hope it made a difference for you.